Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 5th of December 2020. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Connolly Tarot for today's reading. I haven't used this deck in a while. So let's see what the cards have to say about Saturday and what energy you'll be working with. I don't know if I mentioned this, I think I did yesterday, that um, I've ordered another 100 decks of the Gregory Scott Tarot. So those are on the way. I'll let you guys know when I have the exact specific info. Let's see what this day is about. Okay, first card, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's interesting. First time this week, really, that we've got one card that is in the Element of Fire. So we've still got some fire here, but we've got Air and we've got Pentacles. So the energy is starting to shift here. Let's see what these cards have to say about the day. First of all, just looking at the cards from a big perspective, you've got two young men graduating into the older man who's in a good position. So obviously, there's the theme of working through something, learning to get to a position of comfort and authority and security. So if you keep on today, you'll get something out of it and something will make sense. A doorway will start to open and it gives you a sense that there are opportunities and other options that you've got available. First, the Seven of Wands, really nicely done in this deck. I mean, not that I'm the tarot reviewer here. I just like it for myself because it's really self-explanatory. We've got the Seven Wands. He's holding one, the other ones form a gate. And the Seven of Wands is about resistance and an obstacle and something being closed. He is not going to take this and just say, okay, the door is closed. I'm going to have to find another way forward. The element of ones is about your life purpose and about doing something that you're really interested in. So if any obstacles appear in your life, you're not just going to go away from those and say, oh, okay, the gate is closed. That means no entry. It's much more about how can I find a way through? How can I get over this gate? How can I make my own way in life? How can I um, find a way forward. So it's not about breaking the rules. It's really about being realistic and saying that I am on a journey here. It's important to me that I progress and things being challenging at times or obstacles appearing in my life is a natural part of being alive. So you have this amazing stamina, you have a reasonable expectation of what is going to come up and you also have a fabulous expectation or understanding of your own strength and your own abilities. So things that may be really difficult for you usually or obstacles that may seem impossible to overcome will turn into a little gate that you can open and move through. So nothing is impossible today. You have real fire in the belly. You have real strength. You have real self-confidence. And that's going to serve you well in your journey towards whatever it is you're looking to achieve at the moment, whether that's um, a goal like finding a new job or finding a hobby or getting over an illness or understanding a relationship better. All of those things have inherent obstacles built into them. So with this energy, nothing is really too much and you're able to move forward regardless. The Page of Swords court card and the youngest of the court cards the page is really the errand boy who runs around delivering messages and he doesn't quite um, understand his own value his own ability to communicate and connect he graduates into the knight of swords and then the king of swords and that graduation comes when he learns about his current position and he really really understands it and then he's able to move on so the page of swords covered in purple and blue. He's able to take negativity and not be crushed by it. So that again speaks to your strength today. He listens to his feelings. He's connected spiritually, <clears throat> but he doesn't let that overwhelm him and he balances it out with facts, communication, reason, expectations of the real world. And he really tries his best to navigate those circumstances. He's on some steps here. So he's moving on up and he's making better decisions as he goes. And he is young, so he may have to face obstacles that he's never faced before, but he is able to listen to his guidance, to his intuition, and to combine that with his 
ability to reason and to think critically and to say, do you know what? I am a reliable person. My feelings, my thoughts, they are worth something. And I'm going to make a decision to either climb up the stairs or to go that way or to go up that hill there. He is learning to make decisions. So first time doing anything is a bit risky because you haven't done it before. But he is really as well equipped as anyone could be. He's got all the channels of communication open. And because he's able to connect to lots of different things, he's able to make good decisions. So if you're moving forward with something and an obstacle does appear, listen to your gut. Listen to your higher self. Ask your angels, your guides, what do you guys think about this? Should I go forward? Shouldn't I? He's also able to speak to other people. He's able to talk to people who've been in his situation before, the knight and the king, who can mentor him and guide him. So it's someone who's willing to learn, someone who's teachable. And if you have those qualities, then really nothing is a problem because you can um, connect with lots of other sources of information where people have done it before, where um, circumstances have been overcome. So it's a really nice teachable moment today to learn to make better decisions and to do things that are new, to make good on those situations, and then to be able to store that away for future decisions. So in future, it's, well, I've walked this path before, I managed it then, so I'll manage it again. Building confidence, being able to rely on your own thoughts and feelings, and seeing positive results based on your decisions that you come to using all of your resources. So that enables you to keep on going and to learn as you go. The Ten of Pentacles, we've got this older man dressed beautifully here and he's got the children, he's got the grandkids, he's got the dog, he's got the nice um, house that he's built with all the beautiful carvings in the rock so he's rich. He's secure, he likes to shape his environment, he likes to influence his environment, and he also wants to share his wisdom. So it's interesting that you're learning here today, but it's about learning and teaching. So you're not just learning for yourself, you'll be able to use that information in a way that's useful to you either today or in future. And um, it's not just one obstacle that you can overcome, it's almost like unlocking the door for something to make sense, for something to click, and all the doors kind of pop open. So what you learn today is really, really important for your future. It's set in stone as such, so the things that are coming your way will really have this doorway open up, and you're able, you're able to move ahead regardless of what's going on. So he's responsible for other people. He's the one who has all the knowledge or the wealth, Again, covered in this beautiful purple here, or violet, and the yellow leggings, <laughs> and the purple little shoes, love those. So he's happy with his life. He is proud of himself. He isn't crippled with regret. He has learned the lessons of the past. He's using this um, walking stick here. So his life purpose that he works on, or has worked on so hard in the past, and the things that he has learned, actually support him now so it's i keep getting that message it's really really interesting that you're going to learn something really significant today which is going to enrich your future he's also someone who has made decisions based on his expertise and they've worked out really well he's sitting in a nice place he's got the kids he's got the family he's got the dog he's got the company he's got everything that he wants nature is there um, enchanting him and enriching his life and making it more beautiful so he's really an example of getting to a position or achieving your goals and being where you want to be. So really just trust the process, be willing to learn, and you'll get a good outcome. If there is a problem that hasn't been resolved, look again, be willing to find a way forward, and you'll notice that a doorway or a solution presents itself. Number-wise, we've got 10, and a court card, which is 1, is 11. And seven is, yeah, eight. Seven and one is eight, and ten is eighteen. Yeah. One and eight is nine. Nine is spirituality and completion. So you're learning from other people, but you're also learning from yourself and your own experience. So if you've been through something and it's taught you certain things, don't dismiss that 
and say, oh, okay, well, that's my own personal interpretation. Exactly, it is your personal interpretation, and that's where your future wealth is going to come from. And by wealth, I mean the ability to think critically, to solve problems, to uh, not give up and to say, I have dealt with this before, I can deal with it again. Um, financial security, so getting yourself into a better position where you're not constantly confronted with obstacles. Um, having the information that you can then share with other people. So being the mentor yourself and having that wealth of knowledge that you can pass on. So it's about self-belief, trusting in yourself and uh, continuing forward no matter what, because it's going to teach you a really, really, really valuable lesson. And the information is something that's meant to be held on to. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. If you like this video, please hit the like button, sh click on subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing Saturday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.